Hey guys, welcome back to Tools on a Budget. Real quick video today. Um, it is raining. I don't know if you guys can hear in the background. Um, quick comparison between the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 um, Hercules 3 8 inch impact wrench. Um, quite, quite a few little different things here and there. Um, the, the major difference I found is this one appears to be weaker than the Gen 1. The Gen 2 is actually weaker than Gen 1. Um, couple a couple other little things so let's go ahead and start um the comparisons um so it is a different color uh nose um no a nose cone here this one's more of a metallic um gunmetal gray versus this is just a generic gray um the inside of the motor the inside of the mortars seem to be the same little red motor uh milwaukee style this one has a little bit of an over mode separate from the cone this one the over mode is one complete piece it looks like um they added a bit more over molding to the whole unit um this one has a power mode one two three and that's it this one has a one two three and then an auto mode so the auto once it detects um like some sort of resistance it'll stop also this this light appears to be much brighter than this one just off of just from looking at it which is a pr always a good improvement um I, I don't know if it probably lasts around the exact same time yeah about the same time um this one was rated for 555 i think this one's rated for 500 um kind of weird that they made that they put it down um like a smaller rating but uh you can honestly even just hear it like listen to the gen one now the Gen 2. So this one just feels a little bit more um, anemic compared to this one. It'll still do the most of the things you want it to do. And uh, the only thing I don't like is that they did uh, raise the price. This one was $54, $59, I think. This one is uh, $74. And then the half inch is $79. The only good thing you do have right now is that if you buy this, you do get a 5 amp hour battery for free. Um, so that's a pretty decent deal. So for like a hundred bucks with the charger, you can have a nice little uh, impact wrench. Uh, but once you're into the hundred dollar um, territory, at that point you can just get a Ryobi. Uh, they have a Ryobi half inch. I don't know what model number it is. Um, I'll put it in the description. Um, but that one's a lot stronger than this one. And your um, the only thing is I do like the Hercules five year warranty for brushless. So. Um, Maybe that was like a cost saving feature for the warranty, um, like a price adjustment where uh, this one, uh, maybe it's a little bit too close to their uh, margins where they don't want to deal with it. So they raise the price on this one to get a little bit closer to where they want to be. Um, I don't know. I don't work for corporate. So <laughs> the, um, that's it's up in the air, you know, but yeah, just a simple little comparison they're pretty similar like i said it looks like they just added a lot more over molding mm, they look almost the ex exact same size it could it could also be that they just found a factory that'll do it cheaper but um i think hercules i think these are manufactured by uh uh the company that owns bosch according to google so here's another here's a song comparison again This one just sounds a little bit more aggressive. Um, haven't really used this one too much. Once I get, it, once I use it, uh, oops, sorry. I'll see if it has the same uh, caveats as this one, where sometimes um, you'd have like a little issue where if you'd, if you'd be like, it would just lock up and and then um, it would light up a little bit, and then you'd have to release it and then wait like two three seconds, and then it'd be good to use again. I want to see if it still has the same little caveats. Um, different uh different type of uh manufacturing sticker this one's um it's a lot different actually it could be that they're just built in a different factory maybe these uh, people gave them a better price or better uh warranty or something but overall it just has a few more over moldings uh a little bit a little bit of breathing right here for the I guess for the battery, 
for I guess so it doesn't overheat the because the, the circuitry is in here. I think I'm. If you guys want, I'll, I'll you know what I'll just take them apart and uh, we'll compare the the insides of them, see what's changed. Um, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and take off all the screws and then uh, I'll come back when they're already open. All right, guys. So I took off all the screws already. Um, this one's kind of stuck in there, but I'll, I'll get it out right now. A uh, few differences right offhand. Um, this one has like a serialized sticker there. Maybe just so people don't open them. Um, maybe it's a way to keep track of their tools now. Uh, also, they appear to be very similar. Uh, might Probably even almost the same mold. The only thing that really changed was a couple little uh, things. N nothing you can't really change in a mold. Um, I've worked in plastic injection before and it was pretty simple. Um, well, if you know what you're doing, I never did it, but the the one of the guys that were was there for years he was able to do little changes like this like per extremely easy um just changes to the over mode so this might actually be the exact same mode just a little bit uh, a couple di different little things here and there because as you guys know um they it looks like these hercules are actually just like uh reused um like a reused mode I, I did a video of like a t a teopo uh impact wrench and then like i think the black and decker is the exact same thing um that they ha they have a black and decker one and then there's also a uh, oh yeah the bauer is the exact same one as well probably a couple others on on amazon as well um so it's a pretty pretty popular mold they use for these um so let's go ahead and take take off the nose cone Good amount of grease. We do got a nylon bushing in there. Um, so it's just pretty cool how the how the, all these Chinese tools, the machining on them is nothing like it was years ago. Before it was uh, pretty obvious they were made in China. Now these are pretty these are pretty decent um, looking tools. Let me get my scale. All right, so that's the anvil for the Gen 1. Weighs 79 grams. Now let's move it out. Oops. The anvil for the Gen 2 looks a little bit different, but we're... No, 79 grams exactly. Let's see. Let's compare them. Oops. So it is the exact same anvil. Nothing much changed there. Now let's see. Let's check the nose cone. Let me move it closer so you guys can see a little better. So it's 140 grams for that nose cone. 134. So they, they did reduce it a little bit here. Um, they both look well built. Honestly, this one does feel a little bit lighter. I don't know if it's just because I know it is now, but it just actually it's noticeably really lighter. Uh, let's look at the hammer mechanism itself. This is a new Gen 2 one. They are using a Milwaukee style um, captured ring, ring gears with the... Uh, I think it just goes over a bearing. Yeah, it's a bear. The bearings, in, it's like a needle bearing in there, pressed. So the hammer itself is about 316. Let's call it 310 because of all the grease on it. And this one, very similar. about 310 yeah this one has a lot more grease so that is a variance um, it's got quite a few uh, grams of grease on it as you guys can see here it's extremely covered in grease uh, they do appear to be the same hammer yeah they're pretty much identical hammers Let me grab, let me get a napkin real quick. 
Oh, actually, I have a shirt right here. Oops. Uh, now let's split the housing. Um, as you guys know, these tools, the Hercules hold up pretty good. Split this one. This one might be a little harder because of the sticker. But let me peel that sticker off and I'll be right back. All right, so I, I just pretty much ripped the sticker. So let's look at these housings. Uh, they look pretty identical. Remember, this one is a this one is used. Uh, they they did add a honeycomb uh, style, um, like like just a little bit for rigidity here. I'm guessing they do have a little bit more spines here as well. So honestly, if anything, I would say this one would be the more durable one. Uh, this one does have a couple of strong points here for the where the battery is and also that's about it actually this one they have the same anchor points for the over mode uh just eight points here and then a couple here actually these are sorry these are for the screws um Overall, I'd say these are the same mold, just a couple little changes here and there, because these are almost exactly identical. Let's see if you guys can see that there. This is a uh, it's kind of hard to see. It is 30% glass fiber reinforced. Right there. PAGF30. So it is, uh, it is glass fiber reinforced. Um, honestly, it's this one feels a lot more stiff. This one, I feel like it would, you can just tell. This one has a lot more flex. And I'm being about the same with them. This one will for sure outlast this one. Uh, maybe that's why because they added their five-year warranty uh, they went in to fix a couple of things where they were probably having issues with um, these are exactly the same switch i think this is a uh, jean yuang 36 volt dc 15 amps this one is jean yuang 36 volt 15 amps like it's exactly the same switch it's a q12 2322 um this does look a little bit different but not much really it looks like they just uh shined up the back of this pla uh metal a little bit more let me see if i can get a clear picture on this motor this one's a little dirty so this one is a 482C0801. This is a 482... 482008-0175. It might actually be the same one. I probably just read it wrong. It's kind of hard to see it through the camera. Oh, yeah. This is a 2012 408... 025 uh, The bottom one is probably just the date. So this one was probably made in 23 April 30th, 2023. This one was made in 2020. So they, they probably have these motors on a sh uh, on a shelf somewhere. Um but they appear to be the same motor in itself. Uh why it's getting lower RPM? I would assume it has to do with the brain box here. This one seems to have more wires. Let me count them. Uh, no, it's, a, it's about the same. I feel like the only thing that really changed is probably the RPMs through this, uh, through this uh, brain box. I'm wondering if I put this, if I would transfer this one over to here, if it would um, give it a little bit more power. 
maybe I could uh, transfer that over and then uh, send it off to the torque test channel see if they, they notice any differences because these appear to be the exact same tool the only thing that really would change would be this electronic this is a it just says 2050 this one actually has a model number so that that's the only difference I seek this one having an auto mode and probably ch changing the um, rpms and and stuff on this one so that would actually be a cool little project um, to cut cut him and then try to see if it would work I'm sure it would I'm sure it'll probably it might even just turn this one back into this one because I'm sure most of the mass difference on that hammer is um is actually just grease if I would probably wipe it off I kind of don't want to wipe it off because it's I don't want to put more grease in like different type of grease in there um it's pretty much that's the only variance so they look exactly the same to me and even like a couple of grams wouldn't matter too much um that could be variance of you know mass production it could, it could vary a couple of grams here and there these aren't going to be like identical all across the board um but overall i think this is just the same tool um with a little bit different look probably i don't know i don't know if it's to save a couple bucks or to uh, cover cover their ass you know for the for their five-year warranty because i think when this one came out it wasn't five-year warranty wasn't a thing yet um so now they're probably just retrofitting it so that they can actually uh so that it has a little bit of a higher chance of lasting possibly and maybe they even updated the electronics here uh that's pretty much it right now it's raining like i said guys I'm, i am gonna do a uh i am gonna check the torque on these and then i'll probably do uh, with a torque wrench and then i'll probably do a couple lag bolts and stuff um that'll probably be another day when it stops raining just wanted to get this video off so you guys can see the difference between these as you guys see there's hardly any difference at all pretty much the same tool and under a different um clothing but uh yeah guys pretty much the difference i think comes down to this brain box and then a little bit of over mode and changes to the actual uh, body of the actual tool so yeah guys like i said if you guys like these type of videos don't forget to leave a thumbs up if uh you guys if you guys aren't subscribed consider subscribing and uh have a great weekend guys